Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for March 12th, 2021. Well, my goodness, we have really experienced a an amazing, a fantastic bullish party here this week as the market continues to celebrate the signing of the 1.9 trillion dollar stimulus package we also saw bond yields softening just a little bit but unfortunately they're creeping up once again this morning so what does all this mean for today well how about we grab ourselves something to drink let's buckle up and get ready for the friday edition of the morning market prep video Well, good morning once again, everyone, and I hope you are positioned very, very well in this market and have experienced some beautiful profits. Um, it has been pretty easy to make money here um, this week as we have surged and surged and surged um, in these indexes. Let's take a look at uh, the technicals here, see if we can get some information and see how we might want to approach the market for today. So first off, we've been talking about how the Dow has held up really, really well. And obviously it broke through resistance just about three days ago, uh, broke through confidently, and we have continued to the upside. This morning, we're seeing futures just kind of dancing around the flat line, being a little bit more muted this morning. Um, and mostly because I believe, mostly because um, we are seeing the 10 year bond rates creep back up above 1.6%. So we have enjoyed an amazing upside move here. And what that means is that we may be just a little bit extended in the short term. Once again, if I draw this up, we have a price support in here. If we were to rest or pull back, into here i don't think that that would be all that bad of a situation and with the dow itself having um, rallied more than two thousand points in five days um, we should expect you know some possibility of profit taking and those kind of things to come in the market in any point in time you know once we you all remember college days and things like that we party for five days straight and there is um as a general rule a nasty little hangover that follows so we'll want to keep an eye on that pretty closely that possibility particularly if those bond yields continue to rise we could see that hangover starting to come into play and it wouldn't be out of the question to see some profit taking as we head into the weekend let's take a look at the spy now spy we were wondering whether or not we were going to be able to push on through and we answered that yesterday we pushed on through this high we didn't hold that high by the end of the day but we did close at a record high with the dow with the spy closing up above right in there. So we did close at a record high yesterday in the SPY. Now we've got a little bit of a situation where we have that possibility of kind of a, kind of a shooting star pattern here, right up here at that high. And this morning with bond yields rising up, there may be just that little tiny bit of concern. Now, I don't want to be the one calling, you know, throwing, um, throwing water on the fire here, but we do have that possibility that we could catch a double top high here, particularly if those um, bonds continue to rise today. So we'll wanna watch that closely if we fail in here. Now, I wouldn't fear that too much if we do pull back, you know, it's easy to see a double top, but we also want to take a look and notice that we've got some pretty good price support um, across here. So even if we do pull back, we can maintain a higher low in this chart and still show some bullishness to the upside. So wouldn't be out of the question to see a little bit of rest, but I also wouldn't rule out that possibility if those bond yields slip back again today that we could see those bulls just continue this party into the weekend. Let's take a look at the Qs, QQQ. Now, unfortunately, the, the NASDAQ experienced some really nice buying yesterday and big tech kind of leading the way there. We had that overnight reversal where we closed the day before 
here and we had that overnight reversal back up unfortunately we're not getting the same experience this morning and we still have a lot of questions to be answered here on the nasdaq let's keep in mind this head and shoulders pattern is an inconvenient problem for the nasdaq and we still have a significant level of price resistance in the chart right in that area right up in through here i'll switch to the moving averages we've got the 50-day moving average up here and we came very close to testing that 50-day moving average yesterday but then by the end of the day rejected it and you're seeing we had a bit of a gap down this morning and as the morning pump goes on we're trying to push this back up just a little bit but watch that closely this is kind of an, another overnight reversal unfortunately to the downside here on the nasdaq so watch that closely today can they push on through can the bulls push on up now keep in mind we still have this downtrend that we kind of broke yesterday to the upside so it's going to be important if we break that downtrend we need to prove that downtrend to hold the support and then we've got that potential upside surge that could come in unfortunately if we fail back down below that that could be a problem and bring out some of those bears so nasdaq continues to be the problem child here in the market and rising bond yields um, can continue to create that problem so watch that close let's take a look at those moving averages and just see that we ran up there and we just kind of did a little air kiss of that 50-day moving average notice our shorter term averages 20 34 8 exponential that i've got on the chart have all crossed down through that 50-day creating a bit of a resistance zone right here with just not only the technicals but price action in the chart that we'll have to watch pretty closely let's take a look at our IWM now the IWM also set new record highs yesterday and did it in a very confident way notice that we have gapped just about every day gapped every day to the upside and that's a gap away move here this um, yesterday and this continued to stretch on out and broke to new record highs in the russell lots and lots of energy in those financial sectors lots and lots of energy in the oil sector stocks continuing to hold this up one thing i do have to say though is we are um, with such a big rally in such a short period of time, we are short term, a little bit overextended. And we should be just watchful for that possibility of a little rest, a little pullback, maybe um, taking some Advil to get over a hangover here. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at um, our VIX. Now our VIX, also is showing us a good sign here where fear is dropping out a little bit and i've mentioned this a couple of times we we've had that little upside move here in that vix and that has now been broken to the downside which is a good sign so we're kind of calming down here but unfortunately we still hold above a significant level of price support here in the vix and it still is an odd situation where we're making new record highs and our VIX remains elevated above 20 handles. I'm going to repeat this again. Um, I've never seen that before. In my trading history, I have never seen new record highs with the VIX this elevated. I don't know what that means, but it does, it does tell us that it is a rather dangerous market. We can whipsaw pretty easily. So watch that closely. It, it's a good sign that the fear is dropping out. We need to see that fear down below here before I get real comfortable um, with this upside rally. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at our T2122, this gives us probably the biggest reason to have... Um, a little calmness come over us this morning um, we are seriously overextended in the short term we went from oversold to overbought in five days and although we had a little pullback yesterday before we had that little pullback 
our T2122 indicator was almost completely topped out. And notice that we can do this, um, and we've done this many, many times before, where we top up here and then we get just that little resting pullback. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that we are just gonna collapse back to the downside. I'm not suggesting that. But we do need to have more of a consolidation or a resting period here um, in the market we have surged an awful lot to that upside so watch that closely if those bears come in um, we have opened up some big opportunity for a downside move hopefully it'll be calmer heads and we'll just rest and consolidate um, but it may not occur until next week keep that in mind that we could keep this party going um, through this week or maybe up until the end of the day where we start to see some profit taking coming into the market. Let's take a look at our um, T2101. Now T2101 also gave us a, a nice sign yesterday in that we actually saw an expansion of absolute breadth yesterday. That just really goes to show that it was a pretty strong, pretty robust um, rally yesterday, showing that breadth actually increasing on that buy wave. Now, we still have that unfortunate um, situation where we're still largely overall in a market breadth uh, downtrend. So we'll want to watch that closely, particularly if those bears happen to perk up if bonds continue to rise. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And we have a rather light economic calendar, but a couple things that we'll wanna make note of this morning. Um, let's take a look right here on um, our Friday. We have uh, PPI numbers coming out this morning. That one has the biggest chance of moving the market around. But we're so fueled up on um, stimulus right now, I'm not sure if we'll even pay much attention to it. So watch that closely, but um, it may be a non-event. And then also uh, consumer sentiment is likely to be a non-event. Um, according to consensus, both of these are supposed to get just a tiny improvement um, today. So watch those close. Um, and then on the earnings calendar, we have a light day on the earnings calendar with only 31 companies reporting. And a lot of those are very, very small cap companies, not much for notable uh, companies in here today, but I did pull out three. Um, we have Kirkland Brands. Um, they will be reporting today. Let's keep an eye on that. It looks like that pre-market candle is getting just a tiny little bit of bearishness here. Um, we might want to watch this. This could be a bit of a head and shoulders top situation maybe forming with the neckline um, through here. So if that were to fail down through, that could be a little bit of a problem. But let's keep an eye on Kirkland. Uh, BKE, the buckle, um, will be reporting today. Now these uh, retailers have been holding up very, very well. So we might see um, good response here in this chart. Keep an eye on the buckle for today. Um, and last but not least, um, I have NOG um, is on that list today. Now we know energy sector stocks, oil and gas particularly, have been very, very strong. NOG running in a nice upside trend. Keep an eye on that report today. That could help um, if we get a good number here, could help oil sector stocks continue to extend. Um, that rally to the upside. So watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, um, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel these videos are helpful in uh, preparing for your day and possibly even the stocks that I show that could be setting up, if you're finding that to be helpful, please click that subscribe or please click click that uh, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment um, that helps us continue to grow and I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that um, I try to answer as many of those as I can um, I 
most of the time I get that done. There are days I don't get that done, but I truly appreciate you guys' support of the effort here. By the way, if um, you're not a member of Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options and would like to support the channel, right below the title of the video, there's a link where you can buy me a coffee and those uh, funds go to uh, continue to enhance the channel, uh, picking up some new equipment guys and you'll start seeing some of that here in the very near future on the channel so thank you very very much for your help and support and remember none of that is at, is mandatory for, for at all so but thank you so much how about we take a look at some stock setting up and keep in mind that every time i show one of these stocks it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security you want to make sure that you do your own due diligence and pay very very close attention to um, your own rules and um, risk tolerance. Let's take a look here at Disney. Now, I've been mentioning Disney here for, for a little while. And as we know, Disney is going to be reopening the California uh, parks and um, 100 million subscribers um, on their streaming service already. And let's take a look here. As you can see, we have popped up, popped up on that news that California parks were going to um, um, get reopened. And as you can see, we've been kind of consolidating that move after that big pop. We have a nice trend in this chart, and this trend continues to um, look very, very bullish here in Disney. So watch this chart. It may not be ready today. You can see we're getting a little bullishness in the pre-market here on that. But just watch this. If this continues to rest out here toward trend, for that next opportunity to the upside. What I do like about this is that the price action is starting to get a bit more concise, not quite so volatile here, getting a bit more concise as we consolidate. So watch that closely. I think we need to keep a close eye on these um, um, refiners um, and drillers. Valero had a good day yesterday pushing on up. Now once again we're challenging this resistance level in the chart. And I've been mentioning this for a few days. Let's keep a close eye on that. If our energy sector stocks, if oil sector stocks are going to continue to grow, we have that opportunity that this could pop out of that resistance um, in that chart. Continue to hold and just shoot on up um, looking to attack some new highs. So watch Valero carefully. Um, I also want to mention rig. Now rig I happen to own and uh, so I may have a bias here just to um, keep you in the loop but I think rig is looking pretty good now. I, I would suggest a little bit more rest in here might come into play but I like the fact that we broke through this major resistance to the upside. Boom pop through there and we pop through hard. So as we rest or pull back in here, watch for that next opportunity here in rig to take that upside move. And you can see we'll have plenty of room possibly to the upside for those um, next highs that could be tested in that chart. Um, keep a close eye on that. Um, so many of these stocks right now um, on the bullish side are extremely extended, extremely extended. And there's a lot of stocks like, I, I love the chart in Ford. I'm in this position. I'm up tremendously. I'm making great money in Mo. A lot of these are very, very extended in the short term. Watch them closely. You know, for example, here in Mo, if we can hold a, um, don't sell off if we can hold up in here there may be opportunity to the upside but when we start getting seeing all of these upside moves we also see a lot of resistance coming into play um, if we start to sell back off there are some charts setting up for potential short take a look at roku here roku has been moving in a downtrend channel notice that we've popped right up into that resistance of price and downtrend and we're starting to show some problems here i think roku is set up short still below its 50-day moving average you might be able to catch a nice short position in there and there's a lot of charts that are looking much the same um, um, when you um, 
uh, take a look at some of these rally back um, positions. Take a look at Etsy. Now Etsy has rallied up nicely here, but we're contacting a major resistance level in the chart. We might want to watch that closely. Now this is a little bit better because we're holding above that 50 day moving average, but slapping ourselves right into this resistance level in the chart, we could find some pressure in here, maybe see some pullback. And I'm seeing that in a lot of stocks right now. There's a lot of stocks that are still holding that downtrend. And all we've done is rally back to resistance. So we're going to want to watch that pretty darn carefully. Now, of course, there are still those bullish charts out there that we want to take a look at. I still think Starbucks looks very, very good here for that opportunity. We did catch a little bit of a pullback yesterday. We tried to surge on higher. I still think there's that possibility that this is going to work its way over here to this trend before it really has that opportunity to stretch this to the upside. But Starbucks looking pretty good. Keep a close eye on that. And I think we have to keep a close eye on some of these um, retailers like Kohl's. Very, very stable price action in this chart and we've kind of consolidated this over toward the trend let's watch for that opportunity if we can get some bullishness in the market for that to push on through to the upside so a lot of the little retailers are looking that way back on the kind of the short side of whoops um, short side of things take a look at Nvidia Nvidia rallied nicely the last few days but let's take a look at this. We're um, kind of banging our head right into some price resistance of trend and price resistance right here in the chart. We're kind of banging our head on that uh, move up here. And this is also still below its 50 day moving average. So I wouldn't be too surprised here if we have another selling wave come into Nvidia. Watch that closely. We could see a lot of these charts pushing back down um, in those price level moves. And I have to even go into um, stocks like Apple to with that same sentiment in mind. Apple continuing in a downtrend, not looking very healthy here and starting to show possible failure at some price resistance levels in the chart. So if those bears do come in, uh, big tech might be a place where you might find some shorts. Uh, short positions. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And probably more importantly, I want to wish you a fantastic restful weekend. And I will see you right back here. I'll be back in the, on the right way options, Mike, uh, bright and early Monday morning. Have a safe and wonderful weekend. Have a profitable day. And we'll talk to you all next week. Take care. Everyone.